Joyce, finding parking can definitely be a challenge. The safe fairgrounds are behind me right now. And in this area, you'll see plenty of signs on the street saying no parking during the state fair. But you'll also see signs like this one letting you know parking is available oftentimes with homeowners. No parking on the streets during the Wisconsin State Fair, but yards in West Allis are fair game. How busy does it get? They get busy. Ellis Reeder and his family have it down to a science. They've been letting people park in their yard for about five years. The money adds up quickly. What's the most you've made over the years? What was it, like one year? Probably like about 1800 It's a good gig. And they aren't the only ones. Joseph Ryan got together with his neighbors. Among the three of them, they have 26 spots. If you turn it over <clears throat> two times a year, I mean two times a day, then you wind up with about 10 grand. If you turn it over three times, then you get 15 grand. Proving it pays to listen to your wife. My wife pushed me into doing it. <laughs> White lines and signs like this one letting people know parking spots are available. It's something people living near the state fair do every year. So you look forward to the state fair? I do, yeah. Do you look forward to this time of year? Oh, yeah, this helps with a lot of bills right now. Yeah, this is going to knock some things down, so we're going to be all right. We, gonna, <laughs> we may be all right for Christmas right now. All right, Kristen, when do they expect State Fair to be busiest? They said when it's hotter, it's busier, at least for them, because people don't stay at the State Fair as long, so they end up getting more customers. And Mark has been saying all day it's going to be sticky starting tomorrow. A lot of entrepreneurs near there hoping to get people to park in, in their yards. Kristen Fierce live in West Dallas.